So after not realizing that I wasn't recording my voice in this video, I have to do a voiceover for this, for this whole video again. So let's begin. First of all, Atlantean Essence it was now going to be able to, you can like remove Atlantean Essences if you used Virtuous. So if you, if you apply Virtuous to something that has Atlantean Essence, it will remove the Atlantean Essence from the item. And this is about if it's the same exact item. So that's how it works. And this is, by the way, I didn't mention, yeah, this is the recap for the next update. If you didn't know about it, if you didn't read the Trello, this is basically a simple summary of how it works. So basically, you see this item here. It has, it's a, it's a Thurgist item with warding, a two warding because it has Virtuous and it has Italian Essence on it. In next update, this will remove the Atlantean Essence. And this goes for any item that has warding and insanity. Warding is prioritized, so the Atlantean Essence will be removed. So in this one, because it already has warding, Atlantean Essence will be removed if it doesn't have warding, or if it doesn't have Virtuous, or it has Virtuous. And the same goes for other items. If, let's say, like my items, like let's say one item has, like this one here, this one used to have Virtuous. I removed it because I don't want to remove, I don't want to remove the Atlantean Essence from it. I just want to remove the Virtuous from it so that it will not reset the Atlantean Essence. That's how the new system will work. You cannot apply Atlantean Essence to something that ha has warding. You cannot apply Atlantean Essence to something that has Virtuous. If you do, it will eat up the Virtuous and I mean, it will eat up the Atlantean Essence and it will remove it instantly, I think. And you will just use it up. Another thing is that you cannot apply Virtuous to like, you cannot, basically you just can't have Virtuous and Atlantean Essence in one item. It is no longer possible to do that. You can have it across multiple items, but you cannot have it on the same exact item. I have three, I had three items that had Atlantean Essence and Warding, and so I removed the Virtues on them so that I can keep the Atlantean essence on, Essences on them, but I do want to remove the Atlantean Essence on my Theogist Cape, so that's why I kept it there, and I, I'm just gonna keep it like that, and it's gonna be removed anyway. And this will help you remove like, you know, Atlantean essences from like, like very valuable items like sunken armor. So you can now apply and remove Atlantean essences from like a sunken armor, which are much more valuable. And like you can remove the sunken, I mean, the Atlantean essences from the sunken armor if you don't want Atlantean essence on that specific item. I'm talking so, so fast because I'm tired <laughs> anyway. That's the changes on Atlantean Essences. There's another one, is that Enchants will now also affect what stat the Atlantean Essence gives. So, if you see this item, this item has just power and agility. It has no defense. So, Insanity, I mean, Atlantean Essence will give defense on this. Okay, that makes sense. If, however, the item now has Armored Enchant, that means that it has an Armored Enchant, just like this one. This one, it has Defense, Power, and Agility without Atlantean Essence. And right now, the Defense and Atlantean Essence are both giving Defense, so that means it's stacking. In the next update, this will not be possible. That means that Atlantean Essence will basically also count Enchants as well as Jewels and the base stats to see what in what stat it will give so that means that you can you can loop using enchants as well so that means you can loop basically every item in the game that's what this means you can loop every item in the game any item that has even one one stat base stat you can apply the enchant and the jewels to make it so that the atlantic essence will give power to it so that i think is really cool it also removes a lot of builds, like build possibilities, as well as, you know, like the different types of the amount of builds. I want to OP builds we have. It will remove that completely and it will allow, make basically make it more, you know, it makes it easier to build, you know, loop builds or just a normal Atlantean build. It will make it a bit harder as well, but I think it's just for a balance, which is, I think, it's fair. Because we're getting some crazy builds just because of Atlantean essences and without Atlantean essences as well. So. To just getting crazy crazy builds another thing 
about Alan Innocence, the final thing, is that it's being buffed stat-wise. So, at Land in Essence right now, it gives around 97 defense, as you can see here. In the next update, it will give 108 defense. The same as a tier 2 uh, hard enchant or defense enchant, which is armored, it gives 108. And it also will give 36 substats. So it will give 36 agility, attack size, attack speed, and intensity if it's that if, if the Tanted Essence applies that specific stat, it'll give 36, which is double. It's uh, currently it gives 18. So that's basically double of, in, of the whole entire thing. And so it'll be the exact same as the tier 2 enchants. Another thing is that Pay Knight will, is, is, is being nerfed defense-wise. So Pay Knight right now gives a 125 defense. It will give 108 on the next update. That means that you will get 108 defense per pay knight next upgrade. That means it's a 14% defense nerf. But that also, there's another thing that which makes it important is that drawback is being reworked. Basically, right now, drawback gives around, you know, five, no, drawback gives one drawback gives around 3% HP, like, uh, drain. It gives 3% HP drain every time you use a skill. In the next update, one drawback will give 1% HP drain, which makes way more sense. So if you used, let's say you have one drawback on your build right now, in the current uh, update, or uh, current version, you will you will lose 3% every time you use a skill. In the next update, if you have one drawback, you will lose 1% of your HP, which is, I think, great. And... This doesn't mean like, oh, Vetrecos armor it all gives one drawback, this is going to be OP. No, Vetrecos armor will actually get increased amounts of drawback and they're actually also buffed because some items give less. So for example, the Vetrecos chest, right now it gives one drawback. It will give three drawback in the next update, but that will, it will be exact the same, like exactly the same. So it'll still have, it'll still have 3% HP drain. However, it's not the same for the hats and the leggings. So the leggings will have two drawback, making it have 2% HP drain. And the pant, I mean, no, that's, yeah, that's the leggings. And then the hats and the cape will also have two each. So that means they'll also have 2% HP drain each. And also some person tried to give me free stuff. I, like, thank you so much, but like, you don't need to do that. <laughs> it's fine. And like I was saying, basically, Drawback is kind of being buffed. So like you can use drawback armor. You're like more it's more usable now. Same with Pay Knight. Pay Knight is way more usable now. And I'm gonna use it because Pay Knight one, it looks really cool. The effects that you get when you use drawback armor, it's awesome. It looks great. And not only that, it's it's gonna be way more usable. Like you may you'll be able to make way more powerful builds by using you know full pay knight. It's gonna be actually usable because that means if you have ten pay knight, you will, that's like ten percent HP drain, which is the same as like a full Vetracos set, which is like around what? That would be ten percent, nine percent if we use the helmet. Not the, not not the helmet. I mean not a full set. I mean like the the helmet, the chest, and the pants. That would be around 9%. And now you can have full uh, Pay Knight gems. And then we have 10% HP drain. Which is pretty cool. And that's just for... That's just the jewels. And then we're also getting the new, you know, Sunken Warrior set. Which is amazing. I completely guessed it correctly. It's going to be the Sunken Warrior set from Arkham Adventures. I love it. Thank you, Vtex, for that. And... Yeah, it, like that's oh, that's really cool. It's gonna have the same percentage or like same chance as you know the normal sunken iron chest chest plate or sunken iron set. It's gonna be a 50-50 between them, so they're basically equal. But the sunken warrior set gives attack speed and defense, so it's just better in some cases, at least. Not only that, there's also a new weapon, which is of course the sunken staff. The skills it has is it's similar to your the normal cultist staff. However, the second skill is what do you call it? It's the it's, uh, it's the fury of the sea, which is a weapon pulsar. So that's gonna be pretty cool. 
And also, if you're thinking like, how am I not getting? How am I getting any effects with three insanity? But I'm getting effects now with two insanity. It's just an insanity bug. Insanity is just really, really wacky right now. If you if you have three insanity, two insanity, one insanity, sometimes you might even not get any effects at all. Even if you have like less warding than than it, and just yeah, it's a really buggy right now. I hope it gets fixed next update. Cause it's kind of overpowered to just run three insanity and not have any drawbacks with it. <laughs> it's kind of overpowered. But yeah, I don't have anything else to say other than, you know, there's also the new deckhand revamp. I'll make a whole video on that later on when the update does come and it's coming tomorrow or after tomorrow, depending on where you guys, what's your time. But yeah, that's it for this video. I'll be going to this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.